Hello, can you sign my Rubik's cube? This is Yi Hang Wan. What rank at holders have you read your average and a child's point of view? This guy over here holding the banana is me, and I'm trying to get Yi Hang Wan to sign it. When I found out that Yi Hang Wang, along with tons of other world class keepers, are coming to Singapore to compete, I honestly just wanted to see a world record in person, so I knew I had to go. But that wasn't the main reason why. I wanted Yi Hang Wang's autograph. What better than to ask him to sign my banana? So once I got there, I immediately tried asking Yi Hang Wang for a signature. Okay, I finally got on the courage to embarrass myself in front of a literal nine year old. Okay, here goes. Hi, um... Oh, okay, so if you're confused by what you just saw, don't worry, I'm confused too! So I probably spoke way too selfie for Yihang Wang to hear me, so when I didn't see him responding, I just went to a corner and stood there. And according to the length of that audio, I stood there for 8 minutes. Also, can you please talk about Yihang's dad for a minute? Yihang is just like this tiny little cute little boy you could just squish. And his dad is like this huge, muscular guy who could probably punch me to the moon. So while you're all waiting for me to finish questioning reality here, how does one muster up the courage to ask an 8 year old to sign a banana? You're probably wondering, how did we even get here? No, actually I really don't want to even know how we even got here in the first- OH! Yes. Yes, you do. So before this competition came around, there was- Singapore Championships 2023 from that competition, I somehow won $70 of cubic vouchers. So the day before the competition, I went and took a bus to the mall, realized I went to the wrong mall, took another bus to get to another mall, realized I went to the wrong mall again, finally followed the GPS, and I finally got to the right mall. Well, well done. Big brain. I, I clap for you. That, that was just genius. Genius, I tell you. Unfortunately, they ran out of single bananas, which means I had to get an entire set, which consisted of the banana, a lemon, and an apple. Which, as a whole, cost me $40! Okay, so throwing the apple wasn't the greatest idea. So if you see over here, I broke the core. I mean, like, it's fine. I just, like, wasted $40 or something. It's, it's fine. So after I finished questioning reality, I was still too terrified to ask Yu Hang Wang for a signature. So I started to practice by asking other world class cubers first. And who better to start than with Shi Rei Hang? <laughs> Rayung has the TPS and he's go Yeah, somehow I wasn't as terrified. Uh hi, excuse me, can you sign my Rubix cube? Uh what? Can you sign my Rubix cube? Yeah. Thank you so much. Boys, we got the signature. So after that, I went and asked Le Pang. And if you somehow don't know who he is, this man has an eternal world record. How do you feel about having main feet for a period of time? Oh my god. In feet. According to his WCA profile, he started competing in feet in 2017. And he got a world record in 2019. So he basically got a world record in two years. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that he was 11 years old? Hi, excuse me. Can you sign my Rubik's cube? Huh? Can you sign my Rubik's cube? Oh, do I want? Where? Um, anywhere. Anywhere. I don't even have a signature. Oh. Like, so. oh. Thank you so much. So as of now, he's still the youngest ever person to win a world championship, and at that point in time, he was also the youngest ever world record holder. Until, you know. Yeah, that, that happened. Then was Tristan, who is Singapore's first and former world record holder for Mega Man. <laughs> Rest in peace. Excuse me. Could you sign my Rubik's cube? Oh. What? Hello, last call for my two cubes first round group five for submission so of cubes. Urgent. He thought the banana was nice though. And after some time of going around asking people for signatures, some people inevitably caught on to the fact that there was a banana in the house. So this guy just wanted to try the banana. It's a banana. <laughs> what? So after that, I went and found Cuba Squad, who are these bunch of people who have this amazing YouTube channel, and I've actually collaborated with them. This time round, it was special because instead of me having to go up to them, they coincidentally came up to me. 
Apparently they were filming their vlog for this competition and they were giving people free stuff which is very nice of them by the way and once I saw that they were about to film us, I quickly pulled out my camera and filmed them instead Can you sign my banana? <laughs> okay, I guess Thank you Thank you so much. Which disoriented them a bit. I then asked Ray, who is Singapore's current score one national record holder, who my aunt successfully tried to beat once in a video. Ray, um, oh my god, you're going to Can you please sign my banana? No. Please. I don't stand <laughs> there. Please, I beg of you. Okay, cool. Okay, for you. Ow. Thank you. I don't forget. <laughs> And I also asked Yong Tung, who is Singapore's current 3 by 3 national record holder. Can you please sign my banana? Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And eventually I found out that he had some interesting life choices. So did you compete on Friday? Yeah, a few smooths. A skip school. <laughs> a skip school. So Nigel just got national record. He got another 1.6, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's definitely an hour. And after Nigel got the national record, I quickly went up to him. Hello Nigel, can you sign my banana? Can you please sign my banana? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Sorry? Yeah, it's fine. Yes. <laughs> thank you. I then asked Wong Chung Wen, who has Singapore's current national record for FMC and a bunch of the blind events, and his reaction was honestly one of the best. Oh, they haven't. Hi, can you sign my banana? Ah! I... <laughs> <laughs> uh? <laughs> what is that even? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Ray House. Ray House. Yeah. Who's yeah. this? Ray um. <laughs> CBRSQ? D? What? Thank you. Thank you so much. W. <laughs> <laughs> he just a w. W. I also found his signature as one of the most visually interesting. Over here, I have a scale up replica of his signature, and if you notice, it kind of just looks like a big W, which could stand for something like Wong. But something you probably didn't notice is the fact that there's a bit of a curve above the W over here. So this could look something like a conjoined C and a W, which could stand for CW, which it could stand for Chong Wen. 8 out of 10 signature. Not bad. So as of then, my confidence levels were sufficiently high. Now it's time for me to ask someone I'm a lot more terrified of. So if you don't know who Yu Sheng Du is... What? Like, are you even a Cuba? He hello? 3.47. Does that not, like, ring a bell and... I, I, don't, I don't know, the world record holder? Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention. Yu Sheng Du is at this competition. It took a very long time to find Yu Sheng Du, just because he looks very different than what he used to when he first got the world record. But after a while, I found him sitting next to Guan Bo Wang, who's also the current 2x2 single world record holder. Hello, can you um, sign my cube? Shang <laughs> <laughs> Jiao, You tell them you have an operation in Korea. Can you also sign my key? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> After that, I went and found Tim Kyuk Nam, who's broken 57 Asian records, 43 national records, and has the current 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, and 7x7 Asian mm -hmm. records. So he's basically Max Park, but if Max Park was Asian. Wait a minute. Can you sign my Rubik's key? Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The pleasure. I also want to ask Dia Chen, who is currently 10th in the world for summer friends. Hey, excuse me. Can you sign my banana? Oh, sure. Uh. No more. <laughs> sign right at the brown <laughs> Yeah, sign at the Oh my god. One team is signing yeah, a sign banana. Yeah, sign I'll take a photo yeah, of this. Yeah, that works. I'll take a photo of this glorious yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. These signatures are on there already. <laughs> oh, sorry. One, two, three, slow. Also, there were way too many people watching, so some of the staff went and added tape to the seats to block people or something. I, I honestly don't know, I just found it a bit questionable. Then one of the first in Fushada, who has broken national records in 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, 7x7, FMC, one handed clock, Mega Mix, Pyramid Scoop, <gasps> Squirrel and Multi Blind, and 3x3 of Feet. 
which gives him a total of... So I was understandably nervous. Do you sign my banana? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, I, 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 oh, okay. This is win, right? Yeah. Uh, it's like, it's Thank you. Nice banana. After that, I found that my friend Alan backstabbed me and asked people to sign his actual banana. We actually have a real banana now. Wait, yeah, I'm not going to. Yes. Now I get you to sign the banana. <laughs> Who has broken six Asian Square One records and was one of the pilots of TV. Hi, excuse me, can you sign my banana? Oh, okay. <laughs> Around the <laughs> yes. Thank you. Also, I'm not meant to show the banana just yet, but I feel like I have to just because of how nice the signature was. Like, look at that! And after I found my friend eating the real banana. How? I went and asked Yedo, and his reaction was interesting, to say the least. Can you oh, sign no, my banana? Sure. What? Oh, oh sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Our well, next friend is your Xiao Chu submission area. Thank you. We hope we'll be back in the next episode of 3 and 3. And after I got the cue back, I realized you wrote an LMAO and a highlighted B of sorts. I then went and got the signatures for J, who has the current national record for... <coughs> clock? Hello, yeah. can you sign my banana? Sign your yes, banana. Sign banana. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, thanks. Am I that famous? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Alright. And a signature from T. Kai Yang, who has 25 national records. Oh, can you sign my rubrics? Keep it. Thank you. And after asking 17 Cubas, it was finally time to ask Yi Kang Wang. <laughs> Which in all honesty, didn't go very well. Hello, can you sign my Rubix cube? So from that, I know it definitely may not seem like it, but I am fluent in Chinese. I really hope. So from that video, what Yi Hang said was, "你要跟我比赛完吗?" Which means, "Do you want to race with me?" Now I know you couldn't see from that video, but I nodded to that. So I just accidentally agreed to race with Yi Hang. Thankfully though, he got the medal and signed my banana, so I didn't have to race with him. Yay! So, after a ton of work and time, here's the banana. It took grit. It took patience. It took a ton of introversion, a lot more than it should have. But maybe in reality, the gift isn't really this tangible banana that we got people to sign. In reality, it may have just been the people that we met, the sharpies that were harmed in the making of this video. Maybe it truly was the friends who need a lot. No, 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 no. What did I just watch?